Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staber, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. Planned Parenthood has been caught again on tape, and there's movement now in Congress to defund Planned Parenthood. I am Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action, and also associate dean at the law school. And Matt, we've talked before on Faith and Freedom regarding these videos that have come out by Live Action, and you can get them at liveaction.org, or you can also go to lc.org for more information, and we can link right to those videos. But now there's additional videos that have come out, and uh, several of these are in Virginia. And uh, some of those, particularly Roanoke, Virginia, has been confirmed to be true. Uh, I don't think any of them are not true. Planned Parenthood is trying to just simply distance itself from these videos. But the fact is, what we see on these videos is Planned Parenthood staffers actually conspiring with these individuals that are coming in undercover to uh, cover up child abuse, child sexual activity, sex with uh, adults in, in young people, uh, and, and all other kinds of uh, fraud that they're trying to perpetrate and become a part of. Yeah, they're absolutely jaw-dropping, these videos, and we'll link to them, but uh, liveaction.org, uh, uh, Lila Rose's organization, has come out now with a total of five videos from five separate Planned Parenthood locations showing Planned Parenthood employees uh, working with, conspiring with people who they believe to be uh, adult child sex traffickers to help provide services for abortion, services for uh, uh, medication for sexually transmitted diseases and birth control and so forth to these uh, who they believe to be child prostitutes as young as 13, 12, 13, 14 years old. And um, my understanding is there are going to be more videos coming out. Planned Parenthood is in damage control mode in groups like Media Matters, a radical George Soros-funded left-wing organization. They are gathering together, trying to circle the wagons, and as the left does so well, they now have targeted Lila Rose and Live Action, seeking to destroy and discredit them for revealing, shining the light of truth on what Planned Parenthood is all about. Uh, Mike Pence, who is uh, always a, a Forward for life and and uh, uh, just a, a solid pro-life conservative in Indiana, uh, Congressman Mike Pence has now. Uh, just recently, within the last couple of weeks, introduced legislation to defund Planned Parenthood. Matt, we, the taxpayers, give Planned Parenthood, uh, just last year, over $360 million. There is absolutely no justification for that whatsoever. Planned Parenthood must be defund- defunded, and there is now significant congressional uh, momentum uh, toward that end. That's right. Well, uh, Lila Rose, by the way, is coming to Liberty University on April the 8th, and she will be our first speaker for the Awakening 2011. So Lila Rose will be speaking at 10 a.m. on Friday, April 8th, and the Awakening 2011 goes from April 8th on Friday to April 9th on Saturday. So you want to come to Liberty University and go to the Awakening2011.com, the Awakening2011.com. Tickets are free, but you do need tickets, so go to the awakening2011.com. Lila Rose will be one of those speakers, but one of the things that just recently happened, Matt, is Planned Parenthood and Soros people and others were on a telephone conference trying to determine how they're going to respond Mm -hmm. to Lila Rose and live actions, undercover videos. And now what they're doing, uh, they're they're not actually taking uh, efforts to clean up their own act. They're going to try to discredit Lila Rose. Yeah, of course. Th- that's what they're going to do. So we need to pray for Lila Rose in live action because they're going to come down on her and that organization with everything that they can to try to discredit the messenger. 
uh, in, in, in order to avoid the message that's coming out of these videos. Yeah, that's a pure Saul Alinsky uh, uh, M.O. there is to, to kill the messenger when you've been exposed. And they also uh, um, want to turn around and accuse uh, Lila Rose and uh, uh, live action of fabricating, of lying, of you know, don't let you, don't believe your own eyes, what you see and, and what you hear, and and in fact, um, an invitation has gone out. Lila Rose has invited uh, the president of Planned Parenthood for a debate, an open public de- debate on CNN. She uh, and they they have declined, so they don't want to give any credence or any credibility to Lila Rose. They know they can't debate. Uh, this issue, they have to attack. So that's that's what they're doing because they have been caught. Well, we have actually a uh, an email that we are going to be uh, sending out, and uh, you can be a, become a part of it. Uh, it's part of our Grass Fire email. So you can go to Liberty Council's website, lc. dot org, and you can sign up for it as well. Uh, and it will be a petition to members of Congress to support Mike Pence and the bill and the supporters that he already has signed on as co-sponsors to defund Planned Parenthood. Why in the world would we ever want to fund an organization that is racist, as Planned Parenthood is, that is uh, genocide, which Planned Parenthood does. It perpetrates the the largest genocide in the world by becoming uh, the largest abortion provider in America. And it targets our children, and it targets not only uh, killing our youth in the womb, but also children that are in uh, school. They have these unbelievable pamphlets and, and, and information for kids to engage in sex early and in bizarre and uh, very promiscuous and very unhealthy and risky ways. Yeah, stuff we can't even say over the air. The, F- the FCC would, would pull our license. This is what children in elementary school are being taught and being encouraged to engage in these, these demonstrably dangerous uh, sexual behaviors. Planned Parenthood is a radical leftist pro-abortion organization that is... is funded by you and I, Matt, and it's just unconscionable that that continues today. Listen to this. Stuart Shear, who is Planned Parenthood's vice president, had the audacity to actually call live action a, quote, extreme political group whose goal is to, quote, take away health care from women. This isn't health care we're talking about when we have organizations conspiring to perpetuate sex trafficking. Uh, these Planned Parenthood has been caught dozens of times on tape uh, offering to help pe- to take people's money to pay specifically for abortions for black children. They put these massive multi-million dollar Planned Parenthoods up in minority neighborhoods. And this is by design. Margaret Sanger, as we've said over and over again, the founder of Planned Parenthood, was a white supremacist eugenicist. She believed in purifying the race in, in creating essentially a, a, a what she called a race of hybrids and Planned Parenthood today continues to carry out that message but they call pro-lifers extremists it really is a, a pot well, kettle she su- situation she supported uh, Hitler's uh movement in Nazi Germany yeah. to uh, so-called purify the race and Hitler um, looked at uh, the material there from from Planned Parenthood as well. I mean, this was part of the whole eugenics movement, and she was part of it, and that's why Planned Parenthood was created. But, you know, in this particular, the human sex trafficking, what we're talking about in that first video that we talked about, and and there's others now, is that they were conspiring to cover up sex trafficking of minors, where someone was posing as an individual, pimp, who was having these um, arrangements with adults and children, and sometimes these children, these minors, uh, get pregnant, and he wanted to bring them to Planned Parenthood to have the abortion so they could continue on with their sex trafficking. He wanted to know how long it would take after the abortion before he could put them back into the sex trade again. And Planned Parenthood went right along with it. Instead of being shocked, instead of turning this man uh, into the authorities, they conspired to agree with it and perpetrate that fraud. These are sex slaves we're talking about. Child sex slaves. And you know, the left, uh, liberals love to talk about how they are for women's rights and the rights of individuals. 
here they are conspiring to oppress children, literally to perpetuate sex trafficking and slave uh, servitude of these children. It, it is it, you can hardly believe it as you say it that Planned Parenthood is still receiving taxpayer dollars while engaging in these activities. And I'm so glad Mike Pence is doing something about it. Well, give us a call at Liberty Council one eight hundred six seven one seventeen seventy six through. Uh, Liberty Council and also Liberty Council Action, we're going to be supporting uh, efforts to defund Planned Parenthood. Uh, We should not be having tax dollars, federal or state, and you also need to do that on the state level, but we need to certainly begin on the federal level. At a time where budgets are thin, the economy is kind of sputtering, why in the world would we ever and even in good times, fund an organization that promotes genocide against our children and is damaging to our country. So give us a call. You can sign up for the Grass Fire email by going to lc.org. That's lc.org. Or you can call 1-800-671-1776. That's 800-671-1776. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom. 